Max, Zeng, Singapore's Wiz, Kid, shines again on UK Quiz Show University Challenge with doctoral exam level questions. Thank you for watching, making video is time consuming and hard work. Kindly click the subscribe button and click the like button so as to encourage us to make the videos you like. Thank you. And happy watching. Maximilian Zeng is a 22-year-old Singaporean university student. He is best known for his performance on long-running British television quiz program University Challenge, where he displayed extensive knowledge on geography and impressed viewers with his ability to identify cities and states in India and to answer difficult quiz questions. Hi, I'm Max Tun. I'm from Singapore, and I study biochemistry. A translation of Boethius and a treatise on the astrolabe are prose works by which English poet who died in 1400? Died in 1400 is Chaucer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Chaucer. Correct. <laughs> Historically known as Propontis, which small inland sea partly separates the Asiatic and Uh, the Sea of Marmara. The Sea of Marmara is correct. Tope and starry smooth hound are small species of what fish? They both give birth to live young and are thought to use the Thames estuary as a nursery. Uh, is it? Uh, what were you thinking about? Guppy. Is it guppy? Guppies give birth. Okay. Yeah. Guppy? No, it's sharks. Oh. Okay. Right, we're going to take a picture right now. We're going to see a map of India with a state capital mark. Ten points give both the name of the city and the state of which is the capital. Imperial Tomb. Uh, Chennai and Tamil Nadu. That is correct. We follow on from Chennai, the capital of Tamil Nadu, with bonuses on maps showing three more Indian state capitals. Again, the state borders have been removed, and again, in each case, you need to give both the city and the state of which is the capital. Firstly, um, the one is Lucknow and Uttar Pradesh. Uh, I'll nominate some. Lucknow and Uttar Pradesh. It is, that's correct. Well done. Secondly, um, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. That is correct, yes. And finally, uh, Kolkata, West Bengal. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What French term denotes a person variously described as an ambivalent figure of urban affluence and modernity who has no other purpose in life than to be an acute observer of industrialized contemporary life? The term is thought to derive from an old Norse word meaning to wander aimlessly. Imperial tomb. Flanner. Flanner is correct, yes. We get three questions on fungi. What large genus of fungi is characterized by thick stems and an absence of gills on the underside of the cap? Examples in Britain include the Seth and the Old Man of the Woods. Just give me a large class of fungi if you have one. Mushrooms? No, it's, it's, I think it's a specific type of mushroom. Yeah. Do you know any? Uh, pass. It's Boletus. Having a fruiting body with a distinctive pitted head, what name is commonly given to edible fungi of the Morcella genus? I think it's the disgusting looking <laughs> thing. <laughs> but it's not a type of mushroom, like it's not a classic mushroom. Uh, chanterelle. No, it's morels. Oh. Ten points for this. Give two answers promptly. Up, down, bottom and top are four flavors of four. Imperial Tomb. Strange and Charm. Strange and Charmed are the others, yes. In office from 1845, which US president is the subject of a song that mentions Manifest Destiny, the Mexican War, and the Oregon Territory? Um, James K. Polk. Is it Polk? James K. Polk is correct. Which early studio album shares its name with a cathedral city on the river Whiteham at the junction of Fossway and Ermine Street? Uh, Whiteham is Lincoln, so... So, Lincoln, Lincoln, yeah. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Named after an entrepreneur in the steel industry, which city in Indiana experienced rapid population loss in the mid-20th century as a result of... Imperial Tomb. Gary. Gary is correct. Well done. These bonuses are on authors and banknotes. 
Born in 1862, the novelist and women's rights activist Fatima Alier became the first woman to appear on which country's banknotes? She features on the 50 lira notes introduced in 2009. Yeah. 50 lira Turkey then? Yeah. Are there any other options? I yeah. mean, it was, it's a Fatima, yeah. so... <laughs> uh, Turkey? Turkey is correct. The author Ichiyo Higuchi appears on a Japanese 5,000 yen note. She died aged 24 in 1896 during the reign of which emperor? 1896. Was that the Taisho? 1896. It was just Meiji. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah Meiji Taisho. Uh, I think Meiji. Yeah, because yeah, because Taisho was very short. I think. Yeah. Uh, the Meiji Emperor. Correct. By right, ten points for this. Taroko Gorge, Sun Moon Lake, and the National uh, Palace Imperial Tomb. Taiwan. Taiwan is correct. Right, ten points for this. In physics, the mass ratio of which two subatomic particles has a value to the nearest whole number of 1,836. Anyone want to buzz from Imperial Tomb? Protons and electrons. It's protons and electrons, yes. These bonuses are on panhandles of the USA. Which northwestern state's panhandle is often referred to as the chimney because of its appearance on a map? Western state. Idaho, surely. Uh, Idaho. Idaho is correct. The majority of which state's panhandle is contained within the Tongass Forest. Alaska. The largest national forest. Uh, Alaska. Correct. Nicknamed the mountain state because it is part of the West Appalachian Virginia. system, what is the only U.S. state with two panhandles? Say again. West Virginia. Uh, West, West Virginia. Virginia is correct. Ten points for this. Answer promptly, naming the two North American lakes linked by the Welland Canal to the south of Toronto. The natural waterway between these two lakes is the Niagara River. Uh, Erie and Ontario. Correct. <laughs> Your bonus is wrong music. Named after a military and political figure who died in 1830 and described as a globe-trotting band of firecrackers, which youth orchestra was initiated in Caracas in the 1970s by Jose Antonio Abreu? It's like, it's one of the liberators, really, isn't it? Like the Simon Bolivar. Yeah, name it like the yeah. Simon Bolivar Orchestra or something. Yeah, just try that. The Simon Bolivar Orchestra. That is absolutely right. Geography <laughs> and ISO files. It's goodbye from Imperial College London. Bye. We have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Making video is time consuming and hard work. Kindly click the subscribe button and click the like button so as to encourage us to make the videos you like. Thank you and have a good day.